and uh, Mario. Or maybe, yeah, no, we. I could see, I could see the Samus, but I think it'd probably be the Mario. It's, I was gonna no say, time, I'd so. imagine that yep. it's gonna be the Mario just because of how right, Samus doesn't like any character that can just put something down and stop her charge. She doesn't like team, she doesn't like Duck Hunt for those reasons. But and and I'm sure Twitter.com is gonna love this set considering this very matchup. A lot oh. of controversy surrounding it just a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, definitely. But hey. Either way, D Dog coming down from New York to try to take the trophy here in Stick Drift number four. He's still winner's side, which is good on him. He's going to have to face off against one of the uh, goats of this region, someone who's been uh, all over in terms of uh, a couple different regions now. No tag. Mario Samus. Uh, player here is going to catch that big play with an early kill on D-Dog off the top. That, that was a DI check. Yeah, I was going to say DI check and a disgusting combo too. There aren't a ton of Mario players in New York City, especially not over on Staten Island. Going to use that lava bucket to trigger the down smash. That's not how Minecraft mechanics work, but we all know Steve doesn't always abide by the rules and Quandale Ding Lingleton playing a very measured game, right? He's not one to approach you, push those advantages. He'd much rather mine resources, understands his win conditions to a T, and it's what makes him so good with his character. It's, he's not gonna do some of the flashy stuff, but what he will do is just out discipline you with a character that heavily rewards it. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, he does, as you mentioned, he doesn't really like to approach too much. If he does, it's with minecart, but it's also the thing where he forces you to approach and then catches your jump ins. It's always catching the jump ins. The no tag is going to get a big haymaker off the side of the stage with that forward air, and that's going to be a spike to send Quandale's first, uh, second stock packet. Now, we'll have to see if this, uh, this 100% uh, position that uh, no tag is in is quickly gonna end can we get the stock or no Finish and no tag able to you know getting put in that disadvantage state to begin with and losing the stock be all because he crouched next to quandale while trying to mine the diamond in order to try and find a combo onto the platform get something crazy cooking and instead right getting a little overconfident gave steve the diamond and lost the stock quandale got di checked once but he adapts quick my friend he is gonna lock it down keep it going and now you just if you're no tag you just got to settle for a little bit of damage find a way to live past this steve live past these diamonds and just get in so the thing is i mean steve is a faster follower than mario mario can be kind of uh, elusive when he's just kind of floating there so it's very easy for no tag to avoid some of these like up airs and like like pickaxes and stuff like that the quandale is going to be looking for in the aerial game he knows that he can catch some of these up especially with the speed of the diamond tools however no tag if he gets the drift and the speed he might just find the boots as well First game going to no tag. Very and interesting start. No tags at, at the end of that game right here, right? Delays that back out just a second and D Dog expecting the block to still be there, but because of the couple frames of delay on the back air, air no tag actually timed it so it disappeared and then does it again to close it out, right? Rolls back, pivots, but you saw, right, right before he pivots for that final back air, there's like one frame where he pauses. Where you can see the actual turnaround animation happen. It's not a slingshot. It's not a roar. And because of that, right, that's what is really allowing him to catch you out. When you have such a fast, safe button like backer, you can just mix your timing ever so slightly, and you have your opponent has to be on top of the game. Okay, no tag already getting out of some of the up air stuff, but Wandale just gets you right back in the blender, even with the the weak starter tools that you're given, and still able to get so much hits on so much uh, of a gut check that no tag's got to be able to find your center and almost get that second stock, uh, first stock, but a second time. He's just looking for these big checks, and sure, it's all damage, but hey, you might strike gold, you might get a stock. And D Dog, they're trying to right, put the piston into the TNT, make a little bit of a cannon, if you will. Try and find some crazy pressure. That was a sneaky little trap, too, by putting the wood pressure plate inside the wall. Try and get No Tag to jump in and fireball that middle block, as Mario loves to do, and, and lose his world for it. Ooh, okay. The trade of the up smashes, though, will benefit Mario. And even though the stock count's going to be even, it's going to be D Dog not getting a ton of resources as Mario gets to come down, approach with iframes, but no tag still not able to capitalize. And that all happened because the shield push. So he ended up getting pushed out just enough where he couldn't find the follow-up and gets caught. Uh, he couldn't scoop up with the up smash, so he gets caught by the forward smash. All right, the juggle up. time. Wow, that was a crazy reset, but D-Dog with that 
beautiful down and away DI there to find his way out of the neutral or miss the extension, but getting caught on the DI in what was just great DI turns into the opposite. Bing bong, hey, welcome to Mario Land. I mean, this is just gonna be uh, a, a ticket straight downward and yeah, no tag has been catching a couple of those. Quandale can't just hang out off stage as Steve's often want to do, build a little blocks, try to set up a little trap or something like that. No tags is not having that. He's not wasting any time. He's gonna go out there and he's gonna throw hands. And in this situation, right, in, in this set so far, we haven't seen D-Dog build a ton of walls. Something that he can do and has some very creative formations when he wants to. Timing the F-Smash there, there just before he's actually able to cancel the diamond. No and that's no way, 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 no way. The rage is the rage. I looked at the percent. Yeah. It's 126% of rage. You're watch, kidding me. Watch where he lands this combo starter too, though. It's it's like a falling up air. But it's it's it starts up all the way up high, right? He gets it. He gets it on the ground, but gets this extra one on, and that second to last one on makes that up B kill. But it also is true to Ben on Di, and now D Dog headed to the bathroom. Just water, just water. Okay, he has it. I, that was not intentional. I was not trying to ask him, but I did say that as he walked past us. So got a little bit of a correction. But hey, man, if you're thirsty, still, there's a flood. There's a flood. You can get yourself a drink, man. I mean, you know, this is not just the region region of Ridley, but also the region of Midman. So why not chill, Proto Banham, and try to ice out your opponent a little bit? I guess. I mean, sure. I I don't even know. No Tech is a player that I feel like keeps keeps warm enough that it's not going to be a major issue. And he's issue. keeping those hands warm right now, right? Those Blowing into them exactly, like right? it's a play. cold winter It is a little night. cold in here. It is. It's getting a little chilly, but honestly, a chilly with, the way, the, with the temperature outside, I'd rather it be a little nice and cool than a little hot. Yeah, but the uh, the adrenaline running through your hands makes it a little bit colder than usual. So we're going Absolutely. to small battlefield as the play here. We don't want to get any of those big run, like big ladder combos that we've already seen on a two plat stage. We definitely don't want to take chances. But I mean, either way, no tag has been taking a lot of chances, going for some of these big combos and getting a lot for it. So I love the risk reward for him right now. Yeah, and this down 2-0 oh, by going to small battlefield, you're still gonna get ladder comboed. It's gonna be less, as you mentioned. The, yep. However, Mario is so good at bringing you off platform here into these forward air combos. Yep. You see him already looking for it, trying to find it again, but Quandale finding his way out of dodge with the DI. The only real benefits here for D-Dog are Mario can't get away from you, he can't fireball effectively because of the platform height, and your resources right. come out faster. Like you right. get more resources, which might is useful for building more to dis which is what Mario's bad at dealing with against. That's him. unfortunate. There's that a was a great setup mm -hmm. though for Quandel. I mean, literally, it ended up getting pushed, the minecart stopping short, and then leading into no tag, panicking, not being able to do anything, getting grabbed, thrown the, back, no tech. The the tech window too for that specific interaction for Steve is incredibly narrow, and. Even without those no impact land combos, right? You see D Dog just rack on 67% on answer, no tag, looking to just get anything started. But unlike the other okay. games, all these extra resources, these extra blocks that he has to dance around are just making him, him jump more. And D Dog right. is getting ready to catch them, like not Ooh. earlier in the. He's. I, I'm, I, I don't think I've ever seen a Steve actually step on the pressure plate to kill someone before. But it was smart. He didn't have a lot of invulnerability on the ledge because his percentage was so high. So obviously once it ends, you just throw that out. No matter what he's doing, he's really going to just end up dying if he's not pressing a button to get up. Interesting there from D-Dog. Opting to air dodge back rather than anvil. Burn his last iron. Puts himself in the corner for it. And no tag with a rare reverse first neutral air he to did close it. it out. Pushing away the diamond this time too. Learn from his mistakes he of did. that game he almost threw a moment ago and nerf, I mean, while D-Dog still has a confident lead, if no tag can get something cooking here, it feels like he's the one playing with momentum right now, as long as he right. keeps discipline. He's trying to deny D-Dog all of these resources, is doing a great job. D-Dog trying oh, no. to get anything, but then gets right back into the blender, drops a TNT, but unable to do anything else. Oh, he's caught out of the minecart, and that's a spike. Now, no tag brings it to last stock. Could this be a reversal? Nerf, someone better find me that QR code, because I got to go make a fresh cut account and post that clip, because Ooh. that was absolutely disgusting. And, and 
even two after he missed the platform to continue the extension, that TNT is gonna allow D Dog to reset, get some resources to complement this diamond. What? Utilize the crafting table to Not the extension. The hit You're box. kidding me. Uh, and look, literally, I don't know that this would have connected. If not, for definitely the crafting not. Table. Definitely not. That would be criminal otherwise. But yeah, it was the mining. It was the crafting table. It had to have been mm -hmm. clearly knowing where you got to be. Uh, no tag just stepped yep. up too close, and that was that was just insane. That being distance. said, it was a step forward and the exact sure. tip. So he might have extended with something, maybe been. a hurt box extension yeah. or something like that. I could see it. It, it looked yeah. more like a hurt box extension than it was actually the. The freeze frame doesn't tell the, the whole lag, story. But I get it. It's hard to know and. I mean, now that Steve is on the board, right, those thoughts have to be creeping into your head, but mm, I'm, I was going to say, I'm really surprised that D-Dog left didn't this thing ban, Yeah, didn't ban this. I would have banned this if I was D-Dog, but d Dog has his own choices. Well, right now, we're playing. I wonder what he, actually, he, wonder what he banned. Actually, I almost, I think he banned Hollow and not this one. That and the reason for that is resources, right? Yeah, not only obviously. do you mine with a shovel here, so you don't use any of your weapons to mine resources, but you mine super fast, and while you don't have stone, Mario struggles at dealing with blocks well and enough that getting those extra resources and those more iron, those faster diamonds, might make all the difference for D-Dog. It could help him, but we've already seen that Notag is looking for every opportunity to stuff out those resource gathering. He's still getting caught by some of these approaches. He knows that he's getting in a little bit too greedy, but he's still getting caught by the minecart. He just doesn't have any other options to get in, uh, just because this stage kind of lends itself to those minecart setups. Yep, and now just finding the block extensions. Not going to kill, but D-Dog going all the way out there. Quandale, Dingle, Lingleton trying to ring Notag's bell for oh. a second. Getting creative with the down tilts too. How is Notag staying? Staying locked in here, that's so much pressure, but I'm really impressed by him right now. Had the ability to go for that back air even after the dare whiffs, still forcing, pushing the shield, gets the grab, not afraid, gets something here, an edge guard that could lead to something, but it's just going to get scooped up by that up smash. Another three to one lead, and you can see D Dog just getting as many resources as he can in the interim. Now it's just uh, another fading back, going, uh, going in with the minecart, and we're back to square one. And just the run-up, pivot, up smash, the old Mario classic, because of that head invulnerability, right? It can just be so scary to threaten. Now with Diamond Online, though, you have to find a way to take two more stocks off Steve when a single F smash is basically kill percent. That being said, these nares, these up airs gonna do it. The reset to boot, but no tech from D-Dog gonna not let him truly die just okay. yet, nerf. However, if I'm no tech, I'm starting to be nervous Ooh. that I can't close it. Oh, 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 Barely oh, able to get off right as the wings pop off, but it doesn't matter. No tag still closes out the stock with only 64% taken over the last one. That definitely sets a standard. D Dog cannot just rest on the build, like the the advantage that he's built this game. Ah, uh, yes, actually he can because he just dropped the. <laughs> where did he have the? Where did he have the pressure plate? It was right behind it. It was right behind. It was, it was right behind it. He it literally right passed through it after throwing the uh, the the fireball and then landed on it. Okay, because I was going to say it looked like... Because well, how close the fireball. TNT was to ledge, right? Yeah, see, right oh, behind. Okay, it, it is. Yeah, it was right behind. Oh, he pushed it on. Oh. He pushed the TNT and his foot slid on it. He couldn't right. see it because the wood pressure plate is the same color as this. That's so unfortunate. I mean, it is what it is. D Dog, unfortunately, did end up getting that big play. I mean, that was a great setup. It's at the end of the day, no tags just got to be a little bit more eyes open in the uh, in the future scenarios. Just because, again, you're throwing you're throwing the fireball, you're coming in with the uh, the, the TNT approach. You got to know what you're doing. And the player cam's kind of telling a story, a different story than what we're seeing on screen a little bit. D Dog, right? Definitely taking a deep breath there, but earlier on, just kind of side shrugged, reset. No doubt we saw take a couple deep breaths. Both of these players displaying the nerves a little bit in that moment between the yeah. games, letting that facade of stone faceness drop for a second. We go back to Small Battlefield to close it off. One of the more neutral stages we had, definitely, I think, one of the more even games we've seen so far this set. And No Tag gonna try anything possible to just find an opening, lock it off. And the fact that we didn't see PS2 makes me think that, honestly, Quandel might have banned it. 
Uh, that actually might be possible. He knows that the lower ceilings, especially with the resets on the platforms that are very similar to the ones we can see here, are going to create more problems than benefits for him in this game plan against Mario. Still, he's kind of throwing some moves out, and no tag's not really punishing the whiffs. He's just kind of getting stuck back off stage, and maybe goes for the double hit, but that does not yeah. make it and worth. D Dog was able to back up, up into the pressure into the the pressure plate that he plays because it works on the grid system so he passed just enough over where it places behind him technically and then he backs onto it it's just so smart art and such awareness of the character that being said no tag aware tech. this time right gonna not get caught by the same trick twice however daryl is gonna call him out with the back air and find a backer of his own no tag getting caught in the corner for a minute, but not gonna get caught by the lava. These Mario is known for his fire powers after all, and I mean, honestly, well, also I think the water powers, the flood's starting to create some problems, but I mean, the Elytra, not enough to get around that, or just enough to get around that up smash, but this time, it's just gonna be one whiff punished hard this time. No tag's not wasting any time, as I said. He's looking for more opportunities. You gotta take every advantage state that you can get and run with it, and now he's jumping with it too. He cannot get oh, anything! No. The extension and all, and that's a huge play! And just like that, D-Dog going from ahead to behind, Earthbender, or Airbender powers versus Waterbender, Firebender powers, and my friend, which elements are gonna come out on top right now? Nothing will stop No Tag. He will not be held back. D-Dog has not gotten to play the game in a minute, and despite the hot start, he has cooled off. No Tag somehow holding on at 155, and D-Dog needs to find the stock not just to even up the count, but to get an opportunity to mine resources. Okay, we had a little bit of rage that we could have built off of. It's going to end in the trade, but 100% nearly. And, I mean, we're seeing the same juggles. Can you get anything else? A forced air dodge and might be a reset opportunity here, but we can see Quandale still struggling to find that answer. Nerf. That was, being a trade on the stock was huge for Notak, and this is exactly why. Even if it doesn't kill, there's no iron, right? He doesn't have resources. Being hit off, many had to spend all his time. Notak was on the angel plat. At getting back to stage rather than recovering and it means that he has to play with a lot less tools but finally the lava uh the he down smash he it. went with a slight delay every other time he threw out down smash but that time he just pulled the trigger immediately and the slightly Jeez, sooner just on. the mix up of i'm gonna do it i'm gonna delay it less is the, what ended the... up making all the difference oh my god all of it the false kill screen the get up attack beating him out he just didn't have the finishing blow left in the tank. He tried so hard, but it's, yeah, one offstage situation. And all he needs is a situation like this. He gets those blocks set up, and then you know what's coming out. You're forcing the option with that back air. He gets up right into the down smash, and unfortunately, and that's just how the cookie crumbles. Dude, and the auto cancel timing on the back air as well, it just...